Hello everyone, this is John's never ending list of random things to do, back here with some more Celica Super content. In this video, the issue is the temperature gauge isn't reading correctly. As I drive around, the temperature fluctuates only around the sea. Before attempting to solve this issue, I made some educational guesses. 1. My gauge was bad. 2. There was a bad connection at the temperature sending unit. Or 3. The temperature sending unit was bad. A quick way of checking the temperature gauge is to give your dashboard a nice love tap like so. See if anything changes. Since nothing has changed, I went on ahead and checked the connection at the temperature sending unit, located right below the distributor. From here, you'll want to grip the head of the connection and wiggle it back and forth until it comes off. After aggressively wiggling it back and forth, either I broke my wire or it was already only hanging by a single strand. So I'll go ahead and crimp a new female connector here. Then reconnect it back to the temperature sending unit and let's see if this fixed the issue. At this point, the engine has been idling for about 9 minutes and the temperature hasn't even changed. At this point, it is safe to assume that the temperature sending unit is bad. To remove the temperature sending unit, you might want to drain some of the coolant. And while the coolant is draining, this is a good time to make marks on your distributor. So when you go back to reinstall the distributor, your timing is pretty close to what you had it before. And once you've made your markings, it's time to remove this 12mm bolt. Now the distributor can be removed. Carefully pull it towards you and then place it aside somewhere safe. And if this coil pack wire is in your way, go ahead and remove it. From here, remove the connection to the temperature sending unit. Let's go ahead and move this connection aside. And using a 17mm socket, remove the temperature sending unit completely. If you find that coolant is coming out of this hole, that means you didn't drain enough coolant out of the radiator. But that's not a problem at all. Here we have the new temperature sending unit. I bought this off of eBay to try to save me some money. You'll want to thread it by hand first. Then using a ratchet, drive it in, and then snug it down. Now reconnect the wire to the temperature sending unit and slap your distributor back on. Finally, we'll have to refill the radiator with coolant and burp all the bubble out of the system. After a few minutes, all of the bubbles were burped out. I had capped the radiator off and I came over to check the temperature and look what happened. In fear of overheating, I immediately shut off the engine. Maybe the temperature sending unit was fake from eBay or it was bad on arrival. I ended up taking my part number to Toyota and bought this from them directly. Now with this new temperature sending unit installed, I'll go ahead and purge my cooling system of any air and let's see if it overheats. After a few minutes of purging all the air, I capped off the radiator cap and the temperature never read any higher than the halfway point. I hope some of you found this video helpful. If you did and you liked it, help me with those thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, help me with those subscribes. Thank you all for watching and I will see you guys for the next random project.